A scorching Australian summer in early 2020 caused the Great Barrier Reef to suffer its third mass coral bleaching event in five years, the second worst on record. 75% of shallow water reefs are threatened by warming ocean temperatures, a number which is estimated to rise to 90% by 2050. Our oceans absorb most of the heat we release burning fossil fuels and are warming 40% faster than we expected them to six years ago. While coral bleaching is a problem that affects reefs worldwide, 2020 marks the first instance of coral bleaching along the entire Great Barrier Reef. So what exactly is coral bleaching? Bleaching is coral's response to pollution, or more commonly, stress due to heat. As little as two to three degrees increase in temperature can kill corals. Coral is actually made of two creatures living in symbiosis, tiny polyps and the algae they depend on for food. Living in hot water for too long causes the colorful algae to temporarily leave, which is what causes the corals to turn pale or bleach. If the water stays hot, the algae may die or fail to return causing the corals to starve to death. How much reefs are affected by bleaching depends on the type of coral. Some corals are much more affected by increasing temperatures than others. A recent study in the Great Barrier Reef found that corals tend to grow more sensitive to rapidly changing temperatures as oceans continue to warm. The spikes in this graph show increasing and decreasing population size following changes in temperature. Their research on Acropora millipora, a branching stony coral and important reef builder, was more hopeful. They found that these corals are more likely to adapt to warming waters. In fact, it's possible that they could rapidly evolve to adapt to global warming over the next 100 to 250 years. Some studies have also suggested that bleaching is less intense or fewer corals are affected during events where mass bleachings occur back to back. However, that doesn't mean we should ignore the problems corals are facing. It's not only one factor killing our reefs, it is all of our actions combined. Human-caused climate change will not only lead to the death of coral reefs. Loss of coral diversity also leads to fewer fish, which many people depend on for food. The destruction of reef ecosystems could potentially lead to food shortages, which is why it's so important to act now to minimize the impact of climate change while we still can.